Hey guys, Dave here. Got a quick uh, tip for you. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. What you, what you want? What you, what you want? Um, the rut will be kicking on here soon, so this is a very effective tip that's going to help you. Um, it's really inexpensive. It's using the little things around the house that you may normally have, um, <laughs> depending on what your your uh, spousal situation is. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead into this. It's about oh eight days away from the rut. Um, it should be kicking on within the November the 10th. Um, I've already got my stand and everything set up. I'm just about ready to get out there. I'm just getting over some cold situations that came at the perfect timing. So, uh, you know, about this week, a week from now, I should be good to go and um, I can go out there and get in the stand for days on hand. But um, I'm going to probably hunt all day. So, with that, with the rut coming on, um, you need some sort of attracting, if you will. A lot of times, if, if, you're, if you're looking for a specific buck in your area, this will work the best. So the tip is I have a medicine bottle here, I, you know, finished out the medicine. Then I also have a tampon. <laughs> Most of you guys know here, you know, your veteran hunters know what I'm about to say. Um, this is not something that you would normally do if you, you know, just kind of, um, you know, hunting. I, I, don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to go into that. But anyway, <laughs> but anyways. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use this tip. It's very effective. Um, we're going to use a tampon. Take the take the applicator out. Um, you're going to throw that away. You don't need that anymore. You just need the tampon and the string. Um, I have a medicine bottle and I have some Tink 69. Um, I'm going to end up using that this year. Um, it worked for me pretty good uh, in the last few years, so I'm going to use it this year. But um, if you don't have one of those little quick hanging um, bomb bomb scent hangers if you want if you want to use something that you can take with you that will work really quick this is going to work perfectly so um, you have your tampon and your string you're going to drill a little hole into the medicine cap and then uh, tie the string through that and put it into your medicine bottle that way um, once you put your scent in there and you put it on the applicator the applicator is going to hold it and then you can scent it and close it up and lock it and that'll be pretty good and that way you can keep your scent in there and take it with you when you leave the woods that way you're not having bucks coming there smelling it when you're not in the stand for or for any given reason or um, during the nighttime and you can't once he smells that and checks it he's gonna cross that off of his list he may not come back to it anymore so thereby you will make your your um, your hunting area null and void after the first hunt so I mean after the first scent disposal so um, you know, it's something that you can really help you to um, uh, target one specific buck or even a few if you want. But you can make sure that all of your scent is out of the woods when you leave so you don't kill your hunting area. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this together and show you guys how to do that. But got more videos coming up. Join the outdoors. So there's a lot of uh, different scents that I use. Um, actually, just um, mainly two. I have my deer dander here, um, and then also I use my tinks, uh, which is pretty simple. Most people that the deer hunt know about that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you this real quick. The tampon string, um, you can take that and la leave it so it's hanging out the side of the bottle, and then you can put your cap on and then tape, take a piece of scotch tape, if you will, or you know just any kind of tape, and tape the tampon to the, the the string to the top so that way you just want to make sure that's on there pretty good so that way now I don't I, I thought I was gonna you just put a hole in the top at first 
But then I, when I was thinking about that, if that scent leaks out, you're going to have it all through your bag, and then you can have a situation where you get, you know, run over by deer. <laughs> and uh, I, I wouldn't mind that situation, but most other people won't. But um, so then once I take my cap off, as you can see there, I take my cap off and it just hangs out just like that. So um, you can, I can hang it on a tree branch, you know, just hang it over there like that and uh, and it'll it'll hang on and disperse the scent into the wind and I can take it with me when I'm gone and uh, just hang, put it right back in there, twist my lock on and it's good to go. So I'm not going to put my scent into it right now. I'm going to keep that bottle up until I get out there and then um, I'll hit my deer dander maybe uh, on, my, on the bottom of my shoes as I walk in. So just a nice little combination that I use. Sometimes I use it. Um, it's going to be if, and if, if, if I do, I'll use it during the rut, um, which is the best time it's going to be effective. And um, otherwise, I'll just uh, go scentless and I'm basically going on deer uh, motion more than anything and patterning them, them during that time. So that's it for this video until um, I get a buck on the ground and show you guys that. Alrighty, hang on, journey to the outdoors.